Experts from government, industry, trade unions, associations met at the European eSkills Conference to discuss on the implementation of a long-term strategy in Europe. In September 2007, the European Commission adopted a communication on eSkills for the 21st century, which include a long-term eSkills agenda and key action line at the European level. This proposal was welcomed by Member States at a meeting of the Competitiveness Council and stakeholders established the eSkills Industry Leadership Board to contribute to implementing the strategy. Good progress has been made. A European e-competence framework is now available, a European e-skills and career portal has been launched, and very successful multi-stakeholder partnerships have been established. Participants also discussed about the impact of global sourcing and of the current crisis in the financial market on the supply and demand of e-skills. I think it's a great opportunity to listen and, and learn from people with like-minded views and who are particularly passionate about this subject and the importance of um, implementing a strategy. The objective of this conference is to bring together all those stakeholders, all those groups and persons that work in this field, we all want to develop e skills competence. Therefore, when you have a shared objective, it's important to work together. It is important during economical tough times to really recognize that the e-skills are priority. If you take the European demography and structure of the European economy, it is clear that the matter of the e-skills will decide where we will stay five years from now as a region. The ICT industry has been performing very well over the last um, five or six years. It's outperformed in general the whole economy. We are currently probably heading for a dent, but in the long run it's a growing industry. We have a demographic change where there are fewer people on the supply side. Um, we also have a decreasing interest of young people in math and engineering, computer science. Uh, we have a, a lack of IT professionals, it is indeed uh, a tr a true. It's worth recalling that unemployment rates across Europe for IT uh, workers is hovering around 2 to 3 percent. There are literally thousands of vacant positions out there. The future is very bright and very strong. Uh, in the past, this was strategies about knowledge, about technology, and uh, even about innovation. But now we, we need to go deeper to link innovation to people. In the new uh, Lisbon strategy, the e-skills need to be more and more important. We need to move our skills and therefore the, the innovation upwards, upstream, up to the, the very high level innovative uh, type of jobs, which also need very high level skills. What we need to do in Europe in order to maintain our competitive edge is to think innovation and skills together. Patterns of learning are changing and patterns of work are changing. And there uh, we cannot just uh, let people to be on their own, but we are changing the scope practically from individual learning to team learning and nowadays more and more to network based learning. The European Alliance on Skills for Employability was created exactly with the objective to reskill people from the lowest level possible upwards uh, to make sure that uh, uh, even blue collars uh, to get a job today could have the right skills, the right level of adaptability, the right e-skills maturity. In SAP, our SAP University Alliances program, we try to enable students and young academics uh, to have a head start into their careers. These students will be the innovators and the decision makers, hopefully good decision makers, uh, in the future. Training is a prerequisite to maintain manufacturing in the metalworking sectors in Europe and this can only be provided through cooperation with all stakeholders. Employees over the whole business processes need e-skills and it is the same if they are in the e-commerce uh, sector, in the e-development or engineering or in any other. We need to work much closely together with the schools, with the universities to make uh, IT subject uh, more sexy, I would say more attractive, to make sure also that the students in Europe are much more interested in research and development. Because if anything, Europe needs to sell ideas and this is what is all IT industry about.
Future work will concentrate on the development of European ICT curriculum guidelines, relevant fiscal and financial incentives, and the promotion of greater and better use of e-learning. Stakeholders welcome the organization of a European-wide awareness-raising campaign on the benefit of e-skills and ICT education. Music